Good morning guys. The version 5.01 update just came out last night. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new stuff. The full change log is here and I'm going to show you uh, these cool new things. Now supported parameter modulation and linking for take effects. So I'll show you that here on this drum track here. Parameter modulation. I've got this on band two. And also what's new is this learn phase option, so MIDI learn for the phase control. I must have missed this phase control. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in version 4. But anyways, we can change basically where that LFO starts its loop. So in 5.0, we had envelopes for uh, media item take effects. And now we have parameter modulation and MIDI learn for uh, take effects. So that's pretty awesome. There's a new name count wildcard in the uh, render settings. So you can count the items or regions with the same name. So uh, here and wildcards are here. While we're here, we can show you this new sample rate conversion option. It's in the render window and also in the project settings. So the default has now been changed from good to medium and uh, they've renamed everything else because there's a new extreme high quality mode, which is even better than the old extreme mode, which is now high quality. For VSTs, allow restoring default name to plugins by renaming to an empty string. You can right click on a effect and rename it to anything you want. And previously, if you deleted it, it would just be blank. Now it goes back to its original name. And this one here I can't show you. Wasapi loopback support is Windows only, but basically it allows you to do same thing as that sound flower trick that I showed you a little while ago. Click here to go to that video. So this feature allows Windows users to record the output of their system. It's a great way to do sampling from programs that don't have export options, recording out of YouTube or streaming music services, you know, whatever you can think of. The last thing to mention is that the Reaper user guide has been updated as well to show these new features and a few things that were missed in uh, the 5.0 version. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this helps you keep up to date with what's changing in Reaper. I will try to keep doing these update videos whenever there's new updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.